अनुसंधान और गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी एटले संधान हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस व्हाट इज एक्टिव वॉइस पैसिव वॉइस हाउ डू दे डिफर फ्रॉम अदर ग्रामर टॉपिक्स इन इंग्लिश वेल वॉइसिस आर मेनली रिलेटेड विथ वर्ब्स With the change of the verbs, the voices also change. Or we can say that to change the voice, we have to focus on the verbs. Voice is mainly a form of verb that indicates whether the subject in the sentence performs the action or receives the action. Means whether the subject of the sentence is a doer or performer of the action. or a passive receiver of the action depending on these variation we will be able to decide whether it is active voice or passive voice now please look at the ppt you will find a picture you can see a cat and a mouse the sentence of active voice reads the mouse at the cat and the sentence of passive voice reads the mouse was eaten by the cat in the sentence of the active voice you have mouse that performs the action the action is eating the cat eat is the action and in the sentence of passive voice we have the mouse was eaten by the cat that means mouse is supposed to have received the action this is the major difference between active and passive voice let's go into the detail of active and passive voice this is what we have noted whether the subject of the sentence performs or receives the action secondly it is a form of a verb especially the transitive verb we have to know what the transitive verb is we know that in a sentence there are mainly two parts or to say in other words a sentence is made up of two parts subject and predicate predicate includes verb and object now when the verb here we are focusing on transitive verb so when the verb passes on the action to some other object it is called a transitive verb for example the sentence i like chocolates the verb like passes on the action to chocolates let us take another sentence the bowler throws the ball the action throws passes on to ball so this verbs eat and throws like these are the transitive verbs they are passing on the action to objects thus voice is closely related to verbs in english language there are mainly two types of voice one is active voice now onwards av and the other is passive voice now onwards pv let us define what the active voice is when the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action then it is active voice you can read the example i eat an apple in the sentence i is the doer the action of eating is done by the pronoun i or say the subject i and that's why this sentence is in the active voice here we should note one thing that in our regular conversation we use active voice most of the times active voice is more direct more clear and precise as compared to passive voice passive voice at the most can be used in two occasions uh, such as when the receiver is not known or when the receiver of the action is to be hidden it is only in such cases that passive voice is used otherwise 
active voice is more preferred. Let us now understand what the passive voice is. It is slightly opposite to active voice. When the subject of the action becomes the receiver of the action, it is called passive voice. Let us take the same example, I eat an apple, that is active voice. Let us now change to passive. An apple is eaten by me. To go to the previous example once again, the subject I of the active sentence becomes the receiver or say the object in the passive voice. We also have to note the change of I to me. Now please observe the sentence pattern of active voice. We have the simple pattern of a simple sentence, subject, verb and object. You are given two examples, children play games, she watches TV. Just to remind, play and watches are the transitive verbs. They are passing on the actions to games and TV respectively. Children and she, these are the two subjects in the sentences and they are the doer of the action. Now let us observe the sentence pattern for passive voice. Subject, verb and object. This is the basic form. However, there are a few changes. For example, games are played by children. TV is watched by her. We are changing the same sentences of active voice into passive voice here. So children play games changes to games are played by children. The subject and the object flip-flop in the passive voice. She watches TV becomes TV is watched by her. The sentence pattern exactly will be subject plus to be form of the verb plus V3 that is past participle form of the verb plus preposition by and object. Look at the picture. You have a sunflower and a painter. Read the sentence. The sunflower is painted by Vincent van Gogh. So the painter Vincent van Gogh becomes the receiver of the action. Let us look at few more pictures. A novel is written by Charles Dickens. A play is written by William Shakespeare. A paperback is written by Stephen King. A screenplay is written by Steven Spielberg. So these are all the examples of passive voice where the subject of active voice becomes the passive receiver. We should then consider general rules for the passive voice. What are the main changes that occur when we change a sentence from active voice to passive voice. The very first and the very primary rule is the subject becomes the object. Please read the examples. I like chocolates. The order we now know is subject, verb and object. You can see the subject and object flipping flopping. I changes to me. So chocolates are liked by me. I that is the doer of the action in the active voice becomes a passive receiver in the next sentence. Rule number two. Passive voice takes past participle form of the verb. Please read the sentence as the examples. Maggie is cooked by her. A song is sung by you. These two verbs, cooked and sung, they are the past participle form of the verb. Any sentence with passive voice in any of the tense will always have the action verb in its past participle form. 
Rule number 3 says the preposition by is inserted to make the active subject the passive object. As we are moving from doer to receiver, as the performer of the action in active voice becomes a passive receiver in passive voice, we have to employ the preposition by while changing a sentence to passive voice. Here is the example. Neetu drives car. This is a sentence of active voice because Neetu is the subject and Neetu is the doer of the action. The passive voice of the sentence will be Car is driven by Neetu. Neetu who is the doer becomes the passive receiver in the next sentence and to consider the receiver to take note of the receiver we are employing the preposition by. Rule number four is rather more important and one has to be very careful while changing active into passive uh, with reference to rule number four. It is change of the personal pronouns. Let us see what the table says regarding the change of the personal pronouns. Please look at the table. You have two columns, active subject and passive object. The active subject I turns to me as passive object. We had uh, taken one example earlier I like chocolates and the passive of the sentence was chocolates are liked by me. I the doer becomes me the receiver. Few more personal pronouns. We turns to us. You remains as it is. He changes to him. She changes to her. It once again remains as it is. They changes to them and who now this will be employed only in the interrogative statements. When we have interrogative or question statements beginning with who which means the subject is unknown we have to find the subject here. In this case the passive will be by whom any question beginning with who while making it passive begin with by whom rule number five change of tense as we noted earlier voice is concerned with verbs and verbs are concerned with tenses the verb differs the tense differs and hence there is also a change in the voice let us see how the Depending upon the tense, the voice differs and also the sentence pattern of each and every tense. Let us first talk about simple tenses and within that simple present tense. You can see the example, he runs a shop. The passive voice is, a shop is run by him. You can see the interchange of subject and object. The action verb is in the simple present tense, runs, and the sentence pattern of the passive voice is subject plus to be form of the verb plus v3. We just noted that passive voice always takes past participle form of the verb plus preposition by. The preposition by is inserted to focus on the receiver and the object. Let us take few more examples for simple present tense. Children fly kites. Kites are flown by children. To be form plus past participle. Same with example number three. Raju writes a letter. A letter is written by Raju. Simple past tense will also follow the same rules with one minor change. In simple present tense we have to be form of the verb in present that is m is r. In simple past tense also we have to be form of the verb in passive voice but it is was or were. 
So the example, we celebrated New Year. New Year was celebrated by us. The basic sentence pattern remains the same. Subject plus past form of to be plus past participle plus the preposition by plus object. Please follow the second example keeping the sentence pattern in mind. She served apple juice. Apple juice was served by her. Simple future tense. You will secure first rank. First rank will be secured by you. Here you may have a question. Why do we have be in the passive voice? In simple present and simple past tense, we do not have be in between. Then why do we have so in simple future tense? The only reason is the indicator of simple future tense shall or will never follows the past participle form of the verb directly. And that's why we have to insert be. Let us take another example to make our point more clear. Parita will meet the manager tomorrow. The manager will be met by Parita tomorrow. Shall and will will never take past participle form of the verb directly and hence we have be. We now go for the continuous tenses. First is present continuous tense. Our college is planning a picnic. We know that when the action verb is with ing, it indicates continuous tense. And so is the example, our college is planning a picnic. The passive voice of the sentence will be, a picnic is being planned by our college. Here also, the action verb has to come in the past participle form. And that's